Students good, cannot easily grasp. By realizing it, all your knowledge, will, ignorance will end. All your sorrows will end. It is pure bliss only. Even though you may say so, you have got a doubt. Is this possible? <laughs> the more we understand the arguments of Vedanta, the more we are convinced that the conclusion is a mere hypothesis. It's illogical. It cannot happen. Because millions of years of asana in you, so long as the vasana is there, there will be an ego, and the ego born out of vasana ignorance is that which is creating new, new thoughts. There is no question. The more the vasana, the more the thoughts. More the thoughts, more the vasana. That only can increase. But how can in between get out of it? Ay, 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 ay. Logically, when you think about it, with the data available to us, we come to the conclusion, impossible. That is because you have not understood what is knowledge. In the presence of knowledge, ignorance cannot remain. In the presence of light, darkness cannot exist. And it is not that the light comes and darkness slowly, slowly goes. No, there is no slow. Where light has come, darkness has disappeared. In the same way when Sattvic mind turns towards the Atman, the Self. All the vasanas that you have created as a limited ego, in your egocentric desires, when you acted in the world outside, you have created all the vasanas, but all of them go away. Just as the richest Prabhu, who has collected all the wealth by killing and looting and plundering and and uh, setting fire to things and destroying the community and the society, the peace around, all that is lost the moment that stupid fool dies. Isn't it? To the dead man, how much money? What money? Oh my God. Thus, by various activities of the ego prompted by its own selfish desires, we have created a lot of asanas. The moment the ego is ending, all those vasanas become. No more affecting you. It doesn't add to 